Hi, I'm Hans, and recently I've been taking a look at Raylib. Now, you might think that Raylib is probably a ray tracing library, but you'd be wrong. It's a game engine. Um, it's, it's one for C, or C and C++ programmers. Now, it's different from a lot of the other ones, like Unity, Unreal, Godot, in that it doesn't come with big uh, level editor and things like that. What it, re it really is just the engine core, and you can use that on which to build your game. So anyway, I thought I'd, I want to evaluate this library to see if it's something that I might use in future. And as I was trying to build it, I hit this annoying error, which basically says skipping incompatible library when searching for Raylib. I had a look around on the internet and I couldn't find the correct way to solve this. Um, but I, I figured it out and seeing as other people have encountered it too, but they wouldn't, didn't see any solutions presented, here's how you do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to delete the build that we made. So back to the main Raylib source directory, and we do a quick make clean. And the problem that we're having is that, I'm not sure which way around it is, but either the library or the examples, one of them is being built using the 64-bit version of GCC, and the other one's being built using the 32-bit version of GCC. I have both of them installed. So what we need to do is we need to override that with Raylib build architecture 64. And let's just add a dash J8 to do a parallel build so it happens a little bit faster. We will ignore the unused function and value warnings. Let's just let it build. There we go, it's done. And now let's try build the examples using the same line to enforce building the 64-bit version. Uh, Raylib builds surprisingly fast for a game engine. Quite nice. And this takes, oh yeah, there we go, it's finished. Let's try running one of the examples just to make sure that it worked properly. Models. Yeah, the models waving cubes. And there we go. Build work, problem solved. Now, I haven't actually had time to do a proper evaluation of Raylib yet. I got this far and ran out of time, so I've basically run a lot of the examples and had a teeny look at the code. So that's it for this time. I'll see you next time.